Mark and Christina Rotondo were living the quintessential American dream. They had built a life together, secured stable jobs, and managed to save enough to provide a comfortable existence for themselves and their family. When their son Michael was born, their happiness seemed complete. They showered him with love and attention, weaving countless dreams around his future. They meticulously planned every detail of his upbringing, never imagining that their world could one day be turned upside down. Time seemed to pass quickly as Michael grew from a toddler learning to walk into a young man with a bright future ahead of him. The little boy who once clutched his parents' hands for balance was now confidently riding motorbikes, and his early alphabet books had been replaced by complex mathematics textbooks. As he neared the completion of his education, Michael and his parents began to think seriously about his future. They envisioned a life filled with opportunities and success, but as often happens, life had other plans in store for them. As Michael embarked on his college journey, he was excited about the possibilities that lay ahead. Discussions about advanced courses and potential career paths filled his days, and he eagerly absorbed the information. He was particularly thrilled about the prospect of living independently, something he had been looking forward to for years. His parents, while proud of his ambition, couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness at the thought of him moving out. They knew the world could be harsh, but they also understood that letting him spread his wings was an essential part of his growth. Graduation day finally arrived, and the Rotondo's excitement was palpable. Mark and Christina accompanied Michael to the ceremony, their hearts swelling with pride as they watched their son step onto the stage to receive his degree. It was a moment they had dreamed of for years, and as Michael tossed his graduation cap into the air, they couldn't hold back their tears. They had always imagined this day, but the reality of it was even more emotional than they had expected. Once the celebrations were over, the family returned home, where Michael began packing for the next chapter of his life. His enthusiasm was contagious, and his parents did their best to share in his excitement, even though they were deeply aware of the impending change. Michael, for his part, was more thrilled about the freedom that awaited him than the academic or professional challenges. The idea of living without the constraints of parental oversight was exhilarating, and he couldn't wait to experience life on his own terms. The next day, Mark and Christina accompanied Michael to the train station. They arrived early to ensure they wouldn't miss the train, and as the train pulled into the station, they helped him load his bags. The final goodbyes were bittersweet, with the couple struggling to hold back their tears as they watched the train pull away, taking their son into a new phase of life. The days that followed were difficult for Mark and Christina. Their home felt emptier, and their thoughts were constantly with Michael. They worried about his well-being in a new city, hoping he was adjusting well to his new environment. Initially, Michael called frequently, updating his parents on his experiences and assuring them that he was settling in. However, as time went on, the calls became less frequent and the conversation started to revolve more around financial needs. Michael began asking for money more often, citing various expenses. At first, Mark and Christina were more than willing to help, understanding that the cost of living in a new city could be overwhelming. As the requests for money became more frequent, they couldn't help but feel concerned. Despite their growing unease, they tried to remain optimistic hoping that Michael was simply adjusting to his new life and would soon find his footing. However, as the months passed, their suspicions deepened. Whenever they asked Michael about his finances, he would deflect their questions with vague answers. It became increasingly clear that something was amiss, but Michael seemed determined to keep his parents in the dark. Mark and Christina couldn't shake the feeling that their son was hiding something from them, and they began to worry that he might have fallen into bad company. Determined to get to the bottom of the issue, they invited Michael to come home for the holidays hoping that being back in the familiar surroundings of his childhood would encourage him to open up. They were resolved to find out the truth, even if it meant confronting him directly. When Michael finally arrived, they were both relieved and anxious. They knew that getting the truth out of him wouldn't be easy, especially since he had been avoiding their questions for so long. During dinner, they engaged in light conversation, asking him about his job and his life in the city. Mark, trying to keep things lighthearted, joked that now that Michael was working, he should start paying back the money he had borrowed with interest. To their surprise, Michael agreed without hesitation, which only served to deepen their suspicions. Why was he so quick to agree? Was he trying to hide something? Their attempts to get answers through casual conversation failed, so they decided to take a more direct approach. After dinner, they sat Michael down for a serious talk. They were determined to get to the bottom of the issue, even if it meant pushing him to his limits. But instead of the confrontation they expected, Michael broke down in tears. 
He sobbed uncontrollably, leaving his parents bewildered and concerned. What could have caused such an emotional outburst? After hours of consoling him, Michael finally confessed the truth. He had lost his job several months ago and had been too ashamed to tell his parents. He explained that he had been let go after refusing to work on Saturdays, a decision he still believed was unjust. This revelation shocked Mark and Christina. They had never imagined that their son was struggling so much and had been carrying this burden alone. In response, they did what any loving parents would do. They offered him a place to stay until he could get back on his feet. They understood how difficult it was for someone so young to navigate the harsh realities of the world. But in extending this lifeline, they unknowingly set the stage for years of heartache and frustration. What was meant to be a temporary arrangement soon turned into a long-term situation. Michael, who initially expressed a desire to get back on track, seemed to lose all motivation. The days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, yet Michael made no effort to find a new job. Instead, he settled into a routine of dependency relying on his parents for financial support without contributing anything in return. Mark and Christina grew increasingly frustrated as they watched their son drift further away from the responsible, ambitious young man they had once known. As time passed, their frustration turned to anxiety. Michael was no longer a young man fresh out of college. He was a father now responsible for a child of his own. Yet he showed no inclination to find work or take on responsibilities that came with adulthood. His unemployment, which had once seemed like a temporary setback, had become a way of life. Mark and Christina, who had always been there to support him, now found themselves in a position where they needed support themselves. They were growing older, and the burden of supporting their son and his family was becoming too much to bear. The couple decided it was time to take a stand. They began by asking Michael to contribute to the household expenses, but he refused. He claimed that his poor work history made it impossible for him to find a job. When gentle persuasion failed, they resorted to more formal measures. Mark drafted a notice, dated February 2nd, stating that Michael had 14 days to vacate the house. The notice was firm but fair, emphasizing that he could no longer live there without contributing. To their dismay, Michael ignored the notice. He had become so entrenched in his lifestyle that he had no intention of leaving.